In section 7.2, we take a look at estimating the population mean by constructing a confidence interval, which gives us a range of values where we predict where the population mean would be in between two values. Now, in this particular problem, it's asking us for the degrees of freedom, and then it's going to also ask us for the critical value. Now, the degrees of freedom is the sample size minus 1. So if I take a look at the upper right-hand corner, it gives me a little summary of what we have from our data. And it tells me n is equal to 50. So our sample size is 50, which means our degree to degrees of freedom would be equal to 49. So it would be 50 minus 1. Next, what we have to do is we have to figure out what the critical value is, corresponding to a 95% confidence level. Well, first thing we have to do is we have to figure out what alpha is equal to. Now remember, alpha is equal to 1 minus the confidence level. So what we have here is 1 minus 0 0.95. So I have alpha is equal to 1 minus 0 0.95, which gives us alpha is equal to 0 0.05. So now when we're trying to find the critical value T sub alpha over 2, we have T sub 0 0.05 divided by 2, which gives us T sub 0 0.025 which tells us we have an area of 0 0.025 to the right of this t squared. So we have an area of 0 0.025 to the right of this t squared. So we want to figure out what that is. Now let's go ahead and take a look at StatCrunch. So now in StatCrunch, we go to Stat, we go to Calculators, and now instead of going to Normal, this time what we do is we go to T. So now we're going to go ahead and enter the degrees of freedom, which is 49, and now what I have is an area of 0 0.025, and now since it's to the right of that T-score, I'm going to go ahead and switch this to greater than or equal to, and now that gives us our critical value right over here. So round to two decimal places, this gives us 2.01. And now lastly, the next uh, part of this problem is just the definition of degrees of freedom. So the number of degrees of freedom for a collection of sample data is the number of sample values that are determined after certain restrictions have been imposed on all data values. I'm sorry, not that one. It's actually part A. The number of degrees of freedom so for a collection of sample data is the number of sample values that can vary after certain restrictions have been imposed on all data values.